How did you feel when Tupac and Biggie was beefing and the whole East Coast, West Coast beef was going on? To tell you the truth, I was, um, I was, I was, only thing, only I was mad at everybody who attacked Pac that wasn't Biggie. If you wasn't Biggie, you wouldn't, you shouldn't have shit to say about Pac, period. That's between Pac and Biggie. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's why I, I you know I was I was that's where I was in, you know getting into it at like okay Pac you and Biggie handle that I got your back if any other, any of these other niggas try to jump in I got them you know what I'm saying like it's just like when you in a fight at the club okay you you got that nigga y'all do that anybody try to jump in I'm, I'm smashing their ass and that's what it was you know what I'm saying and, and I, the cold part about it was. It wasn't the whole East Coast, like, you know, um, man, I got so much love out there, and, 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 and I fuck with a lot of, like, all the Wu-Tang Clan, and, 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 um, and Red Man, and Method Man, and, you know, um, first people I met, first dudes to meet me when I landed in New York City was Run DMC. Like I know Run DMC, and that, and it's cool to know. To it's cool. I can li literally sit back here and tell you, yeah, I know Run DMC. If I see them, they gonna say we gonna kick it. We gonna talk about old times and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I DM me and DMC kicking me and DMC smoke weed and shit. You know what I'm saying? And and, and Run is that's my that's my guy. They, they they was the first dudes I met when I touched down to New York City. They made sure that they was the first dudes I met when I touched down in New York City. So, I mean, I got so much love for them cats. And, and I just seen LL playing strap on the side on one of his talk shows and shit. So, I mean, man, it, it, we go, I go way back with the East. So, I, I really didn't want to get into it like that. Even when Funk Master Flex said that shit about Pac, I had to smash on him. I looked up to Funk, Funk Master Flex, and I didn't want to do that. But, nigga, you talking about my motherfucking homeboy. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Leave that shit alone. That shit is, both of them is in the grave. They gone. You know what I'm saying? Let that shit go. You put, bringing up old shit. You about to uh, um, open Pandora's box and start a fire and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You throwing, you throwing grease on the fire, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shut the fuck up. So, you know, for what that's worth, I, I respected Funk Master Flex until he started saying that shit. Yeah, I, he was crying and all of that shit. He was... He was like, he, he was like, and then Mike Epps got on there and, 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 and tried to repeat what he was doing. Like, you know, he was like, Tupac died. And Biggie died. Tupac lies. The nigga looked retarded. Like, if you don't shut your retarded ass up, man, cut this nigga the fuck off. Somebody take his phone. Like, come on, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You embarrassing every fucking body. Shut, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? So I, <laughs> I get back on there like, man, I'm about to come out there and drag your ass out that radio station <laughs> and stomp your motherfucking head in if you don't shut the fuck up. Like, did you really just do that? Did you really just bring back some old shit? Like, man, shut your ass up, dude. I respected you till you did that shit. I got an um, interview or a part of an interview on my Instagram. My Instagram is the real spice one. So if y'all want to go see it. The Real Spice One, on my Instagram, I got a, a clip of Biggie, and they asked him who his favorite rapper was from the West Coast. And you know why I got it on my clip, on my Instagram, right? Because he said Spice he One. He said you. Yeah. So if you want to check that out, go to The Real Spice One on my Instagram, and it's, it's all kind of crazy shit on there. You've probably never seen it. You're going to flip out on including that. Um, and, and that was before him and Pac got in that beef. Before him and Pac got in the beat. So, you know, Pac was going out there showing them Trigger Got Snow Hard and, you know, showing them shit. Oh, okay. I ain't know that, man. So, Tupac, he was playing your music around Biggie and other East Coast rappers when he would be in New York. I had no idea, yeah. man. Yeah, he was. And that was cool. 